Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this video I'm going to show you two pieces, um, super iconic pieces. Um, we're going to see them, but basically what this video is about. The second half, as you've seen, is about styling trenches. Different trenches from fashion to classic to higher price points to super luxe. So hopefully that will help you pick a trench. But also give you different ideas for styling trenches because they're stereotypically known to be quite awkward. Which on first impressions, let me show you what I got and then we'll do the second half of the trench video. Now, I've got it here. I just bit my tongue, sorry. Um, the two pieces that I have and I'm about to show you are two really iconic classic piece pieces. Now the last two years, I'm gonna be so honest with you as well, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this kind of fashion job for. And I appreciate every moment of it that I work with these luxury brands that I would dream of working with. Sometimes I pinch myself and think it's too good to be true and how long am I going to be doing this career? You know, maybe it will stop for me without me wanting to, maybe I'll decide to do something else. So the last two years, I have been so careful in buying classic pieces as well as, of course, of course, I just want to be buying less, have less clutter, all the obvious reasons. But I've never shared that honest factor that I, I want to, you know, if I give this up next year or I stop next year, I want to know that I spend all my voucher money, all my collaborations and gifting that I could pick, just to be brutally honest with you. Um, so just know that the last year that I've shown you things, they've been so classic and I'm really sticking to that. So these are two super classic pieces that I know I'll have when I'm 60 years old and two pieces that I can, you know, share down to generations. They're that iconic and I love that you can buy stuff like that at My Teresa. My Teresa have just been smashing the last, I would say, solidly two years and they have been creeping and creeping and creeping to just be so amazing. And I mean that with every bit of honesty and you can go see for yourself. The buy is incredible. They always have everything. I get so excited to shop on there and their shipping is also amazing. Now, let's get into what I'm going to show you. So many of you will have this, by the way. This does have wheels, but there's a big wire. Everything's gonna collapse. So, let me do this properly and put it this side. My new trench coat is the classic Waterloo Burberry trench. And I got this in the beige color, as you can see. I love this so much that I'm tempted to get the black as well. And now, something you might have heard me say before is something like a trench, like this, I'll give you the other example, with Stuart Wiseman boots. I wanted those over the knee Stuart Wiseman boots for so long that I ended up buying multiple lower price point ones because I didn't want to spend the money. And when you get something classic like this or the Stuart Wiseman boots, you always think, oh, they're always going to be there. I'll buy something else. I'll go and buy something else. I have wanted this since I worked at Harrods and I've always put it off because there was more exciting things. Does anybody do this? Like you'll get sucked into a trend or an it bag. Um, and I've been really good the last year or two fighting that and going for the classic. If I really want you know, a, a Burberry trench is not going to fill that itch. And I was actually speaking to a PR about this the other day, um, and she felt the same. So just scratch that itch, save for the piece you really, really want. And ultimately, I can always rely to wear, wear this, and it goes with so many looks. So I actually sized up two sizes on this. Um, it's got the classic Burberry print inside, which I love. I looked at one in Dior that I really, really liked, but the price was so extortionate. And I just still felt it wasn't as classic as this Burberry one. And you know, the Burberry trench is just so iconic. Um, and the fact that I pulled it bigger, I'm really glad that I didn't get it, you know, two years ago, because they would have been too small for me by now. Um, so I love that oversized look. Before I show you the next piece, we are going to, I'm gonna show you a little video of me styling this different ways because they are so easy to style, and then we'll talk about styling trenches and we'll talk about a little bit more. Can't find a time where I can tell ya what I feel now. Been biting my tongue for a while, the words just wanna come out. I'm too afraid to be rejected, it's so expected. I feel like I'm out of my mind, but I know I can't deny. So when 
invest in something expensive. I would, on an autopilot, I think, what is in my wardrobe that I can wear this five times? Or maybe it don't already exist in my wardrobe, how can I style this five ways? So I suggest you do that so that you can tell in your head, am I going to get the wear out of this? Does it go with my style? Can I wear this like thrown over to get a coffee, whether it's a bag or a pair of shoes? Can I wear this like going out for dinner? These are all the scenarios that go in my head. So as you've just seen, this trench looks so good just to wear with a tracksuit and you give it that sport lux. By sport lux, you basically add a pair of boots instead of a, a pair of trainers. You know, you make it less sporty. You add a beanie, because, well, I guess you could work out in a beanie. But it's basically sports mixed with a bit of fashion items. And I love, that's my favourite look, to be honest. Really, really super comfy. And then you luxe it up with a nice bag, a nice jacket. And then, it, you know, maybe if I don't want to wear trainers, I'll wear Prada loafers, which are still going strong, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing them so much. And yes, they are super comfortable. And I love the new white pair for summer. Um, then you saw the super sporty look. Yeah, did that second, the super sporty look where you literally are going to Pilates or you literally just want to wear a full sport, that sport outfit. A trench really elevates that look and is the perfect jacket to wear. Um, and what I love about the trench is that you can layer it. And what I love about this Burberry one is that the fabric is actually really thick compared to my other ones. Um, and they are obviously great in the rain. So you can layer that with a cashmere jumper, a hoodie. You, they actually can be really warm. And my friend once said to me, oh, I will never uh, buy a trench because when do you even wear it? It's too cold in, in, in England to wear one. And by the time it's sunny, they're too hot. But I don't think so. You'll be surprised how much you wear it. And I love the detail at the back here. You just can't beat the Burberry one. And all the little fastenings, it's like a polished matte gold. The buffalo horn it, um, buttons, it's just made to perfection. Then you saw the casual look, just with a pair of baggy jeans and this, this denim shirt. Then the fashion look, and then the minimal look. And they're so perfect for workwear, but it's not just that city kind of trench. So I hope that gave you some inspiration how you can style a trench coat, because there are so many different ways, and I'm so happy that I finally got one. And it's a little bit more... Um, like fancy, like it is quite, it can be quite formal. It's a bit more fancy than just like throwing over a wool coat. So I'm really happy with it. I won't talk about it anymore. Um, I will link that below with the sizes and I'll go straight into the second item. You're going to be so shocked with this one. Let's leave that in the back. Um, you're going to be so shocked. Can you tell what it is? I'm over the moon with it. You're gonna be so shocked, you can't guess, can you? This is my new Gucci suitcase, and I love it. This is something that I have wanted for so long, and I always put it in my car, and I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm going to buy whenever I treat myself, or whenever I'm going to work with my Teresa, you know, trying to be trans as transparent as possible that when I get given vouchers, nothing's for free and I take them, I'm so appreciative of them. It's still money because I you know you're doing something in return. It still needs to be something just as valuable to me and a good investment as if I was to pay for it, especially if I'm recommending it to you. My trousers are too long. Um, so I wanted this for a long, long time. If you watch my videos, you will know that I have the Gucci, the Gucci hold all, which is also the perfect travel companion to just sit with this or hold it over the shoulder like a weekend bag. I do prefer the wheelie. And I wanted one for so long, and then something trendy would come in, like, I don't know, Balen those Balenciaga trainers, um, or a Magda, or Shackmas blazer that I really wanted that was really on trend. And I always put it to the side, so I force myself to get it this time, and I'm so happy. And here's why I think you should get the Gucci one. So I love the Louis Vuitton suitcase. This is no hate towards that. I actually really adore Louis Vuitton. Um, all their travel accessories, they are absolutely amazing. The vanity cases, I love them. So if you've got one of them, amazing. If you're thinking of getting one, amazing. I think they're just as amazing. Now, the reason why I didn't go for them, there are three reasons. The, the reason that brought me more towards the Gucci was a joint, a joint factor between the fact that most people do get the Louis Vuitton one, no hakes, it's amazing, 
but you do normally see the Louis Vuitton one, so I was drawn towards the one that not many people had. Also, if you've been following me for a long time, you know, you will know that I got the Gucci baby bag, which I love. I'll put up a picture and I'll definitely, definitely link it below. That bag is the best bag. It's wipeable, it fits everything. It, that bag really made me fall in love with Gucci, especially this vintage monogram. I then got a crossbody, which I wear all the time. I love that crossbody. I love this, this beautiful vintage monogram. The canvas is wipeable, it's so practical, and it goes with absolutely everything. I find this more subtle than the Louis Vuitton, probably in terms of the colors. I find that this color is more easy to wear and style than the Louis Vuitton monogram, although it is easy. Do, do you know what I mean by that? I think it's more easy to style, so that was another thing. The third was the price. So the price is slightly cheaper for the Gucci one. Um, and I brought you down my Birkin. Um, I don't have a Birkin 35, but I bet I have one by the end of this year. What do you think? Um, so I've got my Birkin 30, and I just think it looks so nice. Sat on the top of the suitcase, it just really is the perfect pairing, I think, really. I just love it. Should we take a look inside? Because I haven't even opened it. Um, on my Teresa, they had such a good selection of the Gucci suitcases, the best selection anywhere I looked. And I was so tempted to get the Globetrotter one. And it's so beautiful inside, like super luxe and red velvet inside. And the only reason why I didn't, and I hope this pays off, I mean, I really do love the black leather um, fastening and hardware on this, but I got it because of the pocket at the front, which is good for the laptop. And I, I with the Globe Chotter one, although it looks so spectacular, I want something I can put my laptop in and out. So let me open it. I think it's the perfect size. So if we take a look inside, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. It's a lovely lovely size really nice details and i didn't realize that it's actually the other side has got a pocket with a zip to secure everything so it is everything is amazing on the outside but also on the inside so really really happy with that and i just think it's a really nice classic piece piece to have even if you don't travel a lot you could ha use that on staycations um i would use that all the time i've been going to paris a lot for one night um, where I'm not doing any photos. So actually I even went for two nights and I could have stayed there another night if it wasn't for honore. Um, it was so refreshing to travel with hardly any clothes, just the basic clothes for all my meetings because I was going for fabric shopping. And it was this, it was much better, like stress-free, not taking any photos, just going with one little case. Um, so I'll be looking forward to using that for literally business trips. Um, so they're the two pieces that I got. I'm so happy with how iconic they are. Um, and that's what I've really, really been trying to do, as I told you, the last year. Now, let's have a quick look at other trenches. I just want to touch base on this. So the first one, um, which is one of my favourites, is a totem trench. I will put all the size references because a couple of them I really got the size completely off where they some of them run extremely, extremely large. And you know I like oversized fit. Um, and I was a bit too lazy to swap them. So do open the description box below and look at that. Everything can be found on My Teresa. As I say, they literally have the best selection and you'll find everything there. And one of my things that I love about My Teresa is their exclusive collections are always out of this world. They do the best colors, the best exclusive drops, always check out for that. So the Totem one, it's a really beautiful taupe color, which I really, really love. And that's what I was called, um, a fashion trench so it's not a classic uh, silhouette like this it's more of a fashion vibe it's very oversized it's not as warm as this so you're living somewhere that's a warmer climate than England not as rainy although that would be really good in the rain that's a good option also the price point is not as high as Burberry this is one of two really high price point ones that I have so that's a nice middle ground the next one that I really really love is my wardrobe NYC one I love this one because I'd say it's the coolest one. Um, this one you need to check the size reference. It's a very cool vibe. I was very surprised on the thickness. That one really isn't warm. Like that's what I love about the Burberry one, that it actually does have some shielding with it. Whereas the wardrobe NYC one is very much a fashion one, good for hotter climate, good for spring, summer. Um, 
but it just looks so amazing. I'll put up some pictures here because I wore that a lot last year. Um, I just love the colour. No one really offers that kind of colour. And I do think the Wardrobe NYC is a really good um, suggestion. S yeah, suggestion. And they do a beautiful beige colour, a beautiful black colour. I'm also going to put in the description box some of my favourite Wardrobe NYC pieces. And I will for Totem as well because... Um, actually, I'm going to do a whole wish list section because Burberry have got some amazing pieces. Gucci is one of the best seasons ever at My Toys at the moment. So check out my wish list that I want and what I've already got in my cart. Knowing me, I probably ordered it by now. Um, next one I have, I have a lot of leather trenches. I have one high end high street. And then I have my super luxe one, which was my Saint Laurent one. You can't go wrong with Saint Laurent leather. Saint Laurent leather and jackets and tailoring is one of my favorite ready to wear brands. Um, and they bring out a leather trench each year. And I love that mine is slightly higher. Um, it's, it's not as long, it's a really nice length and offers me some selective options in my wardrobe. Um, I will link the current Saint Laurent trenches. I've also got the khaki one, which is longer and more of a typical traditional trench, really unusual colour. I didn't realise how much I love trenches, but they're just so easy to wear. Trust me, try one out and trust me how much I'll wear it, especially the, with the beginning inspiration that I've showed you at this video. I really hope that gives you some inspiration. And if you style it any different to me, I'd love to see. Send me a picture on Instagram. Um, so we've got the two Saint Laurent. Um, I've got some other white leather trench, I've got a white, yeah, white leather trench and a high street trench. So I'll link all them, all of them in the description box below with sizes if you want to know more details. I don't want to talk too much with this video after the last one. Um, but they're all my trenches that I have. I did have a beautiful aqua scutum one and it was a size 8 and I only got it two years ago. I couldn't believe I used to be a size 8 two years ago. Um, so I'll probably give that to my mum but I've never worn it. I love a navy trench as well. So I hope this gave you some inspiration of investing into a trench, whatever kind of high-end, super luxe, whatever kind of one you choose. This would be the ultimate one for me. Um, and I feel like my tweezer had a really good selection. Especially if you want to shop and buy other things, you want to buy something in the same, uh, a piece in the same place because you want to build up your points. It really is worth doing that. It is important when you're buying online. Shipping costs and then you can just get everything together. So um, I do recommend the Burberry one. I'm so happy that I got it and I am so happy with the suitcase as well. So I'd love to know your feedback on these two kind of pieces. Do you have a trench? How do you wear it? Have you always have one? I'd be really interested to hear. And what do you think about a luxury suitcase? I think it's really nice. You know, I love my handbags. It's an extension to, you know, what you wear when you're at the airport. And for me, I would use it a lot for staycations and things. So for me, it really suits. Um, and I can't believe it's taken me so long. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Everything will be linked below in the description box. And I will see you in my next video.